everyone, Sam McKay here from Enterprise DNA. I want to go over a really interesting concept which I think will be relatively foreign to a lot of you. So it is just something that I think is really important to dive into in quite a bit of detail. I'm going to use, use a really good example from the Enterprise DNA Support Forum to highlight it. So one of our members who utilizes the forum has seen some videos on how to utilize the summarize function, right? But they and they were creating a um, calculated table based on the summarize function, right? Because the summarize function enables you to create sort of like a summary table. You can do it either physically in your model, but you can also do it virtually too. So these techniques apply to both of those scenarios that you might utilize summarize, okay? So some of the summarize function is uh, one of the more advanced table functions, or it is a table function, right? Just like... Um, you know, similar to say, uh, you know, add columns or cross join or um, intersect. So there's a whole range of these columns that uh, these these table functions that you can utilize. Right, summarize is one that I use actually quite common, uh, like like a lot. Um, especially if I want to create virtual tables that enable me to iterate through logic, you know, within my measures. Okay. Uh, instead of iterating through like an entire table, I can create a summary table and iterate through that. So I've gone over that technique quite a bit. But what I want to do is I want to show you how you can combine um, table functions to optimize your formulas or get results that um, are more relevant to you know what you might be um, looking to analyze. So in this particular example, I remember wanted to analyze or, or create a, a table of um, sales by city right but they only wanted to look at a certain subset of those cities and they wanted to um, utilize and it will place an additional filter over that particular um, table so that they, we only see a, a certain range of sales right and so Brian one of one of our enterprise DNA experts he came up with um, it's not actually a relatively simple solution in the end um, to actually solve this and the one thing, and this is the, probably the key point of this particular tutorial, is that any time you see an area where you can place a, a table, like say as the first parameter after filter, right? You can place a table, you can put sales, or you can put anything, any table. You can also put a virtual table, right? And in this case, we've utilized, and utilize any table any table um, function that is available to you. In this particular case, he's used summarize, right? And he's created a summary table of regions and region city, and then has on top of that um, layered on the total sales. But because we're inside a filter here, we've got this virtual table inside a filter, we are creating an additional filter for this so that the table that we return is only over, has total city sales of over 1 million, right? So can you see how that, that, that works and how this could optimize your formula? So say, for instance, you wanted to create um, a, uh, you wanted to create a, a measure that sort of looked at the average sales per city, right? And so you might want to put this across sort of products, right? You might have your products and you might want to say, I want to see the average sales per city, but I only want to see it for my top cities, my, my cities over a certain amount. Well, this is what you would place into the, say, average X function, that would enable you to minimize the amount of iterations that your formula would need to do theoretically okay because the ultimate virtual table here that your average x is going to iterate through is going to be smaller it's going to be have less numbers in it um, less rows in it for um, average x to go and iterate through okay and then what happened um, after this one is nick came in another enterprise dna expert um, our experts are you know some of the smartest power bi users out there um, Nick came in and, and mentioned that maybe a better way to do this is to actually layer on another table function. So inside of the filter, instead of just having summarize here, and this is this is more so for just performance issues, um, this this slightly improves the performance of of, of the calculation and also can sometimes um, um, prevent uh, some odd results that you might see. So. Or add columns what it does is enables you to create that virtual table but then add on and so in this particular case all we're doing is we're creating using summarize to create a a one column basically a one column table and then through this add columns we're adding on that total sales there and so what we could do is we could put this add columns 
within this filter area and then create this additional filter like that as well okay and so that is a way this is a way that you can enable you yourself to create tables so like a a, a, a two columned table like this right but filtered but having additional filters in place and in this particular case um, this this member needed it for a physical table right but what you can always do is you can utilize the very same technique and you just got to think okay well what sort of virtual table do I want to iterate through within an average x function or a sum x function or a um, a min x function or anything like like that right well you can layer these table functions on top of each other to really change the shape of that virtual table and that's what I want to really reiterate here okay you're you're trying to optimize things by changing the shape um, uh, or or adjusting the summarization of um, data in your particular um, in your particular model okay so just a just a, just a um, a tutorial here where I'm, where I'm highlighting some some really good work done in our forum and some 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 interesting techniques that i think could be applied um in in some of your own lo logic that you're writing into your dax measures okay i'm going to round things off here short and sweet hopefully um you got a lot out of this one uh, definitely throw the video a like if you did and um def don't forget to subscribe to enterprise dna tv lots of uh, great content coming out to you very very soon okay all the best